Hi everybody, this video goes over the section 1.3b homework. In this homework you have four problems and here is problem number one. We have a linear regression model for the revenue data of a company and that regression model is 26.2t plus 205 where R is the annual revenue and the T is the time sent in years since January 31st, 2002. And here is the data. And of course, what we need to do, and there is the model. And of course, what we need to do first is to draw a scatter plot of the data and graph the model, or at least recognize the correct plot. Now, first notice that our regression model has a positive slope. So A is out because it has a negative slope, and D is out because that has a constant slope. Next, we so next we want to look at these two points. Now, the first thing is is that notice that. Our model has an x, it has a y-intercept of 205, so it's going to cross the y-axis at 205. Let's take a look at C. This crosses the y-axis at um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so each of these divisions is 50, and it crosses the y-axis at about 30, so the D can't be it. It has to, or C can't be it, it has to be B, but let's just go ahead and make sure. Okay, well, first thing is, is that, um, well, the y-intercept is about 205, um, 50, 100, 150, 200. Also, notice that um, for the year um, ending at um, 2002, which is when, which is year zero, we are at, four, we are at 204, which makes sense for, um, for revenue. For year ending at 2003, which is year one, we are at 231, which kind of makes sense. So this does seem to work out. So my guess is, is that it's B. Okay, there we go. For the next part, we want to compute the company's annual salary for the period ending January 31st, 2010. Now keep in mind that X equals zero corresponds to 20, 2002. Therefore, X equals eight will correspond to 2010, 2010, if I can write that correctly. Okay, so in our regression model, we want, I'm sorry, not X, but T. We're doing with independent variables of T. Okay, and therefore, in this particular case, we want t to be equal to 8 in our regression model. And we are going to have that r is equal to 26.2, interesting choice of coefficient, times 8 plus 205. And if you knock that out in your calculator, you will hopefully get 414.6. Now here we went to around to the nearest billion dollar as needed. We have 414.6 billion. So since the six is bigger than five, this is gonna round up to 415 billion. So let's see if I'm right. I certainly hope so. And there we are. And this brings us to problem number two. And here we have a here we're going to be shown a scatter plot and regression models for the yearly revenue of restaurants and supermarkets. They're also going to provide us we also have a regression model for both of them. The regression model for the restaurant is 13.5n plus 180. And then the um, regression market for the regression model for supermarkets is the linear equation uh, 7.5 n plus 235 where n is the number of years since 1986. Now we want to interpret the slope of each model and then we want to well that, that we'll, we'll move well let's first do this one and then we'll worry about B and C. First let's go ahead and click on our regression model. There it is or, or, or the data. Here is the data and the regression model. The regression model for supermar for for restaurants is the red one. The regression model for supermarkets is here, and of course you can click on this to zoom it even further. 
Okay, but let's take a look at our first question. The slope of the linear regression model for, for restaurants show that the revenue is well, either increasing or decreasing. Since the slope is a positive number, the revenue is increasing at a rate of, well, the slope once again is 13.5, so that is the rate, 13.5. Okay, and as I one would expect, they're gonna ask about the slope of the regression market for supermarkets. Well, once again, we have a positive slope, so that implies increasing, and what is the rate? Well, that's the rate right there, 7.5. Okay, now we want to use the model to predict the revenue of restaurants and the revenue of supermarkets in the year 27, 17. Well, notice that the notice that year that n is equal to when, when the year is 1986, n is equal to zero. 2017 is 31 years after 1986. So 2017 corresponds to n being equal to 31. Okay, so to figure out their uh, predicted revenue for restaurants, we want to use our we want to use our regression equation for we, our, our regression model for restaurants, but we want to n to be 31. So we're going to have 13.5 times 31 plus 180 and that gives us 598.5 598.5 billion okay and that is what we want to put in here Okay, now I'm going to do the exact same thing for supermarkets. Now for that one, we have, where is that regression model? I lost my regression model. We have that S is going to be equal to 7.5 times 31 plus 235. And that gives me 467.5 and there we go now for the last part we need to estimate the year when the restaurant revenue will exceed supermarket revenue by at least 150 billion dollars okay so that basically is so basically we want to know when the restaurant revenue minus the supermarket revenue is going to be equal to 150 billion dollars or r minus s is equal to 150 so we were going to have 13.5 times n plus 180 minus the quantity 7.5 times n plus 235 and we want to know when that is going to be equal to 150. Okay, well, we can do a little simplification here. First thing we need to do, need to do is distribute. And if we do, we will have 13.5 times n plus 180 minus 7.5 times n minus 235. And that will be equal to 150. Combining like terms, so we have 13.5n minus 7.5n, that should be 6n. We have 180 minus 235, and that will be minus 55n, no, 55, and that will be equal to 150. We can add 55 to both sides. these cancel and we will have that 6n is equal to we will have that 6n is equal to 205 we can divide both sides by 6 these cancel we will have that n is equal to 
0.167. Now they say here to round up to the nearest year as needed. So this will round up to 35. Okay, so this is the 30, 35th year after 1986. So we have 1986 plus 35. We will have one, carry the one here, that will give us a two, carry the one. We should have 2021, which by the way is last year. So we can put 21, 20, well, 2021 in here. Pray to God that's right. And it is. And now this moves us to the next question. And here it is. Now here we need to use a graphing calculator to find a linear regression model for the men's 100 meter freestyle given the table to the right, where the year, where, where here X is going to be the years since 1980 and Y is going to be the winning time in second. And then we're going to do the exact same thing for the 100 meter freestyle data. And that basically means we need to use our TI-84 calculator to do this. Okay, and let me show you how to do this. Now remember, we are, for the X values, we are going to be the have the years after 1980. So this will be zero, four, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. <coughs> so let's go ahead and bring our calculator over. Okay, here it is. The way we want to do this is we want to come over to Stat. We want to click the Stat button and then we want to click Edit. We can do that by either clicking one or we can just move our cursor down or it's already there and, and just hit Enter. Okay, we already have a whole bunch of stuff up here, so we're going to need to clear that. The way we can do that is we can basically move up to where it says L4, hit clear, and enter. Okay, go over to L3, do the exact same thing, clear and enter. Same thing for L2 and L1. Now remember, what we, how we, we probably want to do this is we probably want to have L1 contain the X values, L2 contain the men's times, and L3 contain the women's times. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember. L1 is going to be the X values, which is going to be the years after 180. So the first one is going to be 0, because that's 180. So we'll hit 0, hit Enter. The next one will be 4, so we'll hit 4 and Enter. 8, 12, 16, 20 for 2000, 24 for 2004, and 28 for 2008. That takes care of the X values. So we want to move our cursor over to L2, and here we want to put in the men's times. 50.40, enter. 49.95, enter. 48.63, enter. 49.02, enter 48.74 enter and you guys get the idea 48.3 enter 48.17 enter and then 47.21 enter and then we want to do the exact same thing on the, for the women's time for L3. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Okay, I'm back. Now, once you've done this, you will probably want to make sure our data is right. So we have 53.12, 53.84, 83.54.58, 54.56, 54.57, 54.58, 54.59, 54.60, 54.61, 54.62, 54.63, 54.64, 54.65, 54.66, 54.67, 54.68, 54.69, 54.70, 54.71, 54.72, 54.73, 54.74, 54.75, 54.76, 54.77, 54.78, 54.79, 54.80, 54.81, 54.82, 54.83, 54.84, 54.85, 54.86, 54.87, 54.88, 54.89, 54.90, 54.91, 54.92, 54.93, 54.94, 54.95, 54.96, 54.97, 54.98, 54.99, 54.100, 54.101, 54.102, 54.103, 54.104, 54.105, 54.106, 54.107, 54.108, 54.109, 54.110, 54.111, 54.112, 54.113, 54.114, 54.115, 54.116, 54.117, 54.118, 54.119, 54.120, 54.121, 54.122, 54.123, 54.124, 54.125, 54.126, 54.127, 54.128, 54.129, 54.130, 54.131, 54.132, 54.133, 54.134, 54.135, 54.136, 54.137, 54.138, 54.139, 54.140, 54.151, 54.152, 54.153, 54.154, 54.155, 54.156, 54.157, 54.158, 54.159, 54.160, 54.171, 54.172, 54.173, 54.174, 54.175, 54.176, 54.177, 54.178, 54.179, 54.178, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179, 54.179
And then what you want to do is make sure you have the right variables. Now remember the x values were in L1, so we need to change this to L1. The way you would do that is by clicking second, list. Okay, there's L1, so just go ahead and click enter. And there we go, we got L1. Now the next one needs to be L2. So once again, second, list, bring it down to L2, hit enter. Okay, now we have everything we need. Now we are going to move our cursor down to calculate and hit enter. And when you're done, this is our regression. Now notice that they want this rounded to the nearest three decimal places. So for this one, we have negative 0 0.096, and the third decimal place is a, or the fourth decimal place is a seven, which means we need to round up. So we are going to have negative 0 0.097 times x, and over here we have 50.156. The fourth decimal place is also a six. We need to round that up to seven. So that'll be plus, oh, hang on, I hit the wrong button there. Um, plus 50.157. And now I want to hit the enter button. And that is correct. Now we want to do the exact same thing for the women. So to do that, once again, we want to hit stat. Now, and we want to go over to calc. We want to click linear regression, hit enter. But now notice that we want to change our Y list to L3. So we go down to there, we do second list, go down to L3, there it is, hit enter. Now we have our right X values, our right Y values, we can go down and hit calculate. And those are our regression values for the women. Once again, we want to go to the third decimal place. We have a 0 0.75, that's our third decimal place. The fourth one is a seven, so we need to round up. That'll be zero, negative zero, 0 0.076 times x plus, and here we have 55, but then we have 518. The fourth one is a three, so this time we don't need to round up. We're just gonna put in 55.518 and there we go now the next question is based upon these regression models will the women's time eventually catch up to the men's time well you can actually look at this and kind of realize that they won't notice that the y-intercept for the men is 50 is, is below that of the women okay the y-intercept for the men is at 50 seconds. The y-intercept for the women is at 55. The uh, slope for the men has a larger absolute value than the slope for the women, so the slope for the men is going down at a faster rate than the slope for the women. is actually steeper. So actually, the men will continue to get faster than the women based upon this particular model. Now, if you want a visual, what you can do is come over here and hit y. y equals. Okay? And if you do, you can actually put these equations into, you, you can actually put one equation in for y1, which will produce for you a graph for you a, a, a blue line, and another one in for y2, which will graph for you a red line, red line, not red wine. And now for the first equation, we are going to have negative 0 0.097. So I'm going to change that 4 over there to a 7. And times x. And the way you would do that is that's that's the x down here plus 50.157 okay and hit enter now i'm just going to not just to show you how to do this i'm going to clear this one and i'm just going to put this in manually now for the women i'm going to put in down here negative 0 0.076 times this is the button i'm going to use for x plus, that's not a plus, back up, plus 55.518. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit enter. Now I wanna to go to my window to make sure that the window is right. Now notice here my x values are going from one to 28. So here I have x max at 20. I probably wanna change that to say, I don't know, um, 
maybe 40. Okay, now for my y values, I have my y min at 45 and my y max at 60, which kind of makes sense since I'm getting as high as 55 here. Um, I may want the y min to be a little smaller uh, since I have down to 47, at least at um, at 28. Oh, I need to make sure I have the zero there for, oh, actually y max should be, yeah, 40. Um, well, we can keep y min at 45 just for now and y max is 60 and now we can go ahead and hit graph okay so this is the time for the men this is the time for the women notice how they are getting larger as time goes on it doesn't look to me like they will ever ever cross as a consequence i believe our answer here would be no and we can do our final check and there it is and we are done with this one. Now, for our last problem, we once again have to figure out regression formulas. And once again, we are going to use our calculator to do that. Now here, we have the price supply data and the price demand data for corn. And we want to find a linear regression for the price supply data where X is supply. So this is X and Y is price. And then we want to do the exact same thing for the price demand data. But first we want to do it for the price, we want to do it for the um, price supply data. Okay, well once again we are going to need to use our calculator and chances are what we probably should do is just put all this data in and then go ahead and do the and, and compute the regression. So let's go ahead and do that. What I want to do here is go to stat. I want to edit, so I'm already there. I want to clear all the data that we already have. So we're going to go to L3, hit clear, enter, go to L2, go up one, clear, enter, go to L1, go up one, clear, and then enter. And now I want to put all this data in. But since I've already shown you how to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and knock this out. And, um, I'll, and, and I'll be back to you in just a second. But first, just notice that I am going to put the X values, which is supply in L1, the Y value, which is the price in L2 for the supply curve. Then in L3 is gonna be the X values or the, the demand in bushels in L3. And then the Y values, which is the price in L4. And that's what we will have when I'm done. Okay, I'm back and everything is loaded in. I have checked and I believe all the numbers are correct. So now we can go and compute our regression. So once again, we're gonna to go to stat. Okay, we're gonna move over to calc, go down to the first linear regression. That's not, there it is, hit enter. Now remember, now remember the X values for supply regression are in L1, but the Y values are in L2. So we need to go down to the Y value. We need to hit list, second list and we need to select L2. Hit enter. So we have the correct values. We can go over here and we can calculate our regression. Now notice that they want us to round to two decimal places as, need, as needed. So here we have for A, we have 0 0.223. That doesn't need to round. So we can write that as 0 0.22 times X. And then the B value is 0 0.670. So that's just plus 0 0.67 plus 0 0.67. And that should be it. There we go. Now we need to do the same exact same thing for the demand curve. So once again, we go to stat, we go over to calc, we click linear regression, click enter. Now we need to change the X list to L3 because that's where the that's where I put the X values. So we're going to do second list, go down to L3, hit enter. There we go. Now we need and we want to set the Y values to L4. Now that we have those set, we can hit calculate. And those are re regression values for um, the demand curve. Once again, we have that y is equal to zero, negative 0 0.136. Since that's a six, we want to round up to negative 0 0.14. 
negative 0.14 times x. And then we here we have 3.415, since that's a 5, you want to round that to 3.42. I didn't want to hit, I didn't, I didn't mean to hit enter, so let's try that again. Plus 3.42. And there we go. And this is the last particular problem. We want to find the equilibrium price for the corn. Okay? That occurs when this equation equals that equation. And this is basically one of the, one of the basic concepts of economics. When the, supply de when the supply price curve equals the demand price curve, we actually have an equilibrium. And that's, so that's what we want to do. We want to find the value of x, which will make these two equations the same. Just however, however, keep in mind that that value of x is essentially the amount of corn that we need to that how, the, the amount of corn that makes these two curves equal. Once we find that value of x, we need to figure out the price where, and we would do that by substituting that value into either one of these equations. Okay, so let me bring my notepad up. So once again, what we want to do is we want to find that value of x, which, which causes 0 0.22 times x plus 0 0.67 to be equal to negative 0 0.14x plus 3.42. This is what we want to solve. Now to do this, we want to basically get all the x terms on one side and all the other terms on the other side, preferably with the positive coefficient. So I'm going to add 0 0.14 to both sides. So I'm sorry, 0 0.14x to both sides. Adding vertically, these cancel. Over here, I have 0.36x plus 0.67 equals 3.42. Now, I want to subtract 0.67 from both sides. All right, and when I do, these cancel. And over here, I have seven point, or I'm sorry, 2.75. So I will have 0.36x is equal to 2.75. Now I can divide both sides by 0 0.36. If I do, all they have over here is x. What do I have over here? I have 2.75 divided by 0, 0 0.36 which will give me 7.638889. Now, notice here, it says here that I want to round all the intermediate values to two decimal places. Okay, so I want to round this to two decimal places. So I'm going to round this to 7.64. But now remember, this is x. This is the number of corn that we need for these two prices to be equal. Okay, so this is basically corn in bushels. So now I need to figure out the price, and I should be able to use either of these two equations to do that. So let's go ahead and use the first one. If you do, I will have y is equal to 0 0.22 times x, which is now 7.64, plus 0 0.67. Okay, and what do I get when I do that? Let's find out. And that gives me 2.3508. And we went around the two decimal places, so this will be basically $2.35. Okay, well, I'm kind of curious. I want to see how it works with the other one. So that one's going to be y is equal to negative 0 0.14 times 7.64 plus 3.42. And that gives me 2.346. That rounds up to 2.35. So I'm thinking that it's 2.35, and that should be $2.35, and that should work. Let's go ahead and find out. There you are. It actually did. That is pretty much homework 1.3b in a nutshell. 
If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. This is Bob Boyle, signing off.